Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. Today is all about roses. <clears throat> and I have these very pretty shrub roses. Now I, I call this shrub the prairie rose because um, I've tried to do some research on this shrub. I believe it's an heirloom rose. And, uh, and the story is that the um, settlers took sprigs of this shrub with them as they traveled west. Now, I don't know that for certain. It's, it's got a tiny little leaf, kind of a micro uh, uh, foliage. And, um, and I'm still trying to decide, discern, I should say, exactly what rose it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I really love it because, first of all, it's big and it rambles. And it has these beautiful kind of lemony single flowers. Let me zoom you in. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice today. Hang on while I get some coffee. <clears throat> okay, and um, it's just such a pretty shrub. It's blooming now. I've got, a, I've got a lot of things that are blooming early this year because of all the heat we've had. <clears throat> but um, since I've been featuring roses this month, I wanted to continue with this beautiful yellow rose. So I'm just going to put this over to the side here where I can see it. <clears throat> Continue with this beautiful yellow rose. Get my audio taken care of here. Now here are some of the, the rose pictures that I've done in the last couple of weeks. And I've been using the Happiness Abounds set to stamp some of these images. Today I'm going to I'm going to sketch a little image. But I just wanted to point out how versatile this happiness abounds set is. So if you're somebody who does not feel confident about your drawing skills, you can still paint along with your inks or your watercolors or your watercolor pencils. And just use the images in this set. They're, they're wonderful. And the sentiments are really nice, too. <clears throat> I'm going to be featuring this set in this month's Watercolor Card Club. And there's still time to sign up for that. The live Zoom class is coming up this Friday. So if you'd like to learn more about painting roses, that's a fantastic way to do that. You can go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and you can subscribe to the Watercolor Card Club. And, um, and to be invited to the live Zoom, you have to sign up for the full subscription, which includes the card kit, the videos, the reference photos, and um, the invitation to the to the Zoom live class, and, and lots and lots more. So check that out on my website. You'll learn a lot more about it. So that's coming right up this Friday. So you want to do that as soon as you can. And after I do the video today, I'll be putting all those links below, so it'll be easy for you to find them. The other thing I want to mention is that I'm going to be doing a fancy fold class with my wonderful friend Lisa McGrew. And we're going to be featuring this Happiness Abounds set again. And, um, and also there will be a quick mini introduction to watercolor class. So if you're more of a paper crafter but would like to do a little more watercoloring on your cards or your uh, paper boxes or whatever, that might be the way to go. So um, I will also have that information posted below after the video. The last bit of visit business I want to mention is the in-color starter kit. 
So this is this wonderful deal where you get all of these different things in addition to the regular starter kit. I've, um, I've made a little video about this that I posted a couple of days ago, but it's only going to be available until May 31st. So May 31st is just, uh, what, six days away? So there are a lot of deadlines coming up. So if you want to get in on any of these special deals, uh, you're going to have to register as soon as you can. Um, if you decide to get the starter kit and join my team, you will get the Watercolor Card Club as part of, your, uh, part of the benefits of being a member of the Dandelion Cottage design team. There's more about that also on my website. You can go to dandelioncottagedesign.com and click on join and you'll have a whole list of all the benefits of both um, joining the Stamping Up family and also joining my team. So check that out. Today I'm going to be working from these beautiful roses and I'm going to make a very clean and simple card. And I've just prepared a couple of things in advance. So one of the things that I did was I used the deckled rectangle framelits. And these are brand new in the new catalog and they're wonderful. So you can see you get eight different deckled edge framelits. They all nestle within one another so you can make all sorts of little frames or openings, windows in your cards, uh, fancy labels. Today I'm going to be making a window card. So I have ready to go. I have a very vanilla card base. I've got a piece of shimmery white card stock and I've got some very vanilla that has been cut using the deckled rectangles frames to create this aperture with this wonderful, let's see if I can show you this, this wonderful jagged edge that imitates the deckled edge that you would see on a piece of fine watercolor paper. In addition to those things, I've got some ink, I've got crumb cake ink. I've got a little bit of linen thread and um, let's see, I got help. maybe that's about it. So I'm going to begin with my shimmery white card stock and I have a pencil and I'm just going to do a very simple sketch. Let me, I'm just going to grab one of these roses so that you can see it while I'm um, painting. They're starting to, they actually bloomed last week. They're beginning to lose their petals, but that's okay. So there we go. Here's my specimen. I'll put this so you can see it yeah, on this side. There we go. That should work. All right, and this is going to be a vertically oriented card. And I'm just going to do a very quick sketch. I'm just going to add my main flower up towards the top here. There we go. And another flower over here. This one's already losing its petals, but we can add a couple more. And these single roses typically have five petals, which is the number of petals that helps us to identify the roses. And I've got a, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little uh, capsule here left over where the, where the petals have already fallen. I'm going to include that as well because it's so pretty and then just sort of indicate 
my leaves. Now you could do exactly the same thing using the Happiness Abounds stamp set, and I show you how to do that in the Watercolor Card Club. And I also have a uh, couple of videos that I've done recently where I've done just that. So if you go to my YouTube channel at Dandelion Cottage Design, please like and subscribe. You'll be able to find a whole collection of uh, watercolor and paper crafting videos that you can visit. And when you follow my Dandelion Cottage Design Facebook page, you will be notified automatically when I go live and uh, and you won't miss an episode. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please be sure to follow, like, and subscribe. It helps me a lot and it helps me to bring these videos to you. All right, so there's a there's a very quick little sketch and I just want to check to make sure that I'm recording here and oh we've got a bunch of people hey everybody good morning good morning wonderful to see you and uh, I wonder what everybody's doing today here it's a, a beautiful sunny day if you've been um, looking at my Facebook page you know I've got some baby chicks <laughs> and they are so darn cute so I now have 12 and let me just I just want to show you my palette here this is just a porcelain dish and I've got three reinkers on here a couple of drops of yellow a couple of drops of red and a couple of drops of blue down in this corner okay and I don't bother cleaning the palette because all of this paint that's run all over here is still good so I can use that but I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see what I'm actually doing with the picture there we go that should be pretty good all right so oh and I have a water painter which is the brush with the reservoir in the handle so that you can have water to go if you choose to take your paints with you outside to paint in the garden or on vacation or whatever else you'd like to do. So I'm going, I'm going to start with a very dilute mixture of my yellow. I'm just going to flood that area. There we go. Very easy. Then I'm going to take some of that yellow and mix it with my blue and begin to paint my leaves. I'm going to keep this very simple today. This is just a little card that you could make for a friend or a thank you or a birthday or whatever occasion you might have. And if you're just getting started with paper crafting, this is this is the perfect thing for you because you need so few supplies to be able to do this. All right, so that's that's my basic design, and you should be able to see that pretty well. And all I'm going to do now is just do a little more careful drawing. So I'm looking at my, my flowers here, my specimens. Get these centers started. Here we go. Now I'm taking a... Um, Kind of a light gray mixture. I'm just running all the colors together and this is going to help me to get these shadows. 
When you join the Watercolor Card Club, you will learn much more about how to model form, much more than I can go into in, in one of these very quick videos. But if that's something that is of interest to you, then um, this month is particularly good because we are painting the roses. So go ahead to my website and find the tab that says Watercolor Card Club and subscribe before Friday and you'll be able to participate in this special class that we have going on this month. This is the April-May class featuring roses, so you're not going to want to miss that. All right, so I'm just adding a few more touches. I can begin to indicate some of the veins and the leaves and keep sketching my my stems. So I'm, I'm just drawing with the brush now. If you're working with your watercolor pencils, it's, a, it's the same kind of thing. All right, now I'm going to put a little background in around my flowers. Go. Just a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot. And then finally, what I want to do is I want to start getting some of the beautiful yellow tonality on my petals. So I can increase that. Let's do some drawing here. Get some of these little fringy bits. And you remember I, I said that the, the roses have five petals, so it also has five sepals and so you can see these little starry sepals kind of coming out from behind the that little seed pod there that's where the the rose hip will form eventually okay i'm just gonna put some Additional drawing lines in here. There we go. So it doesn't take much, just a just a couple of minutes. And I'm going to continue to increase my yellow here and there. So just adding a little more. I want that yellow to be nice and bright. Such a pretty color. These roses are beautiful. All right, now I'm just going to I'm going to blot this a little bit because I want it to dry fast so I can make the 
card and show you. So I'm just going to take off some of the excess water. Normally I would just leave that. Now some of some parts of this painting will not show in the finished card, but I still want to make sure that the majority of my design will. So I'm just I'm just extending the image a little bit around the edges so that and make sure everything is, is covered here. Now I just want to put these little kind of speckles in the center of my flower. These are the, the stamen and pistols, or I should say stamens and pistol. There we go. And the same down here. All right, so there's a cute little picture took no time at all. You can do it. And, um, and if you would like to use those stamps to form your initial design, you could easily do that. Now, I have a sentiment here. So this sentiment I want to show you the stamp set again. So here is the, the full set. And I'm going to be using this sentiment here that says friend, because I really like that. And um, and I love I love this script that's used for these sentiments. It's a it's a lovely kind of informal hand that has these really nice little flourishes at the beginning and also at the end. So it has a kind of a nice casual style and it has a, a really nice weight to it. So I think this is perfect for this card. I'm using my crumb cake ink because I wanna keep this card kind of neutral. I wanna keep it very clean and simple. I don't want um, a lot of distraction from the get this right side up from the watercolor itself now I'm going I'm, I may get my head in the camera here forgive me while I get this lined up there we go so there's my sentiment we put our ink away now. And I'm going to do something kind of fun with this. I have my window aperture that I made using the deckled dies. And what I want to do is I want to stitch my sentiment to the bottom of the frame. So, but first I'm, I'm using my bone folder. I'm going to give that just a slight curl and then I'm going to curl the ends up a little bit so it's got a, a wave. So there's my sentiment and I'm going to use my paper piercer to just pierce through those layers. So let me just make sure I have that nice and centered. That looks pretty good. So I'm just going to put two little piercings on each side. Okay, and then I've got my needle and thread here. This is the the linen thread. And this is one of my book binding needles. You can use a tapestry needle if you have one or any kind of 
needle that has a large eye and I'm just going to stitch through there. Let's see, I want to make sure I have enough of a tail here to be able to tie a knot. Okay, that should do it. I'll go through it a second time. Coming back up. I think I have just enough thread here that I'll be able to go through one more time. So I'm just going to loosen that up. I like I like going through three times if uh, if the bulk of the stitch is going to show. Here we go. I'm just going to tie that in a simple knot. Grab a little more thread for the other side. And do just the same thing. Hold my tail. Come back up. There's one. Two, three, tie that. Okay. Now, for my card, I'm going to glue my painting down. Let's get that situated on there where I want it. A good burnish. And then I have some dimensionals here, so I'm just going to put those in the corners of my frame. A couple on the side. I want to make sure I get this on here nice and straight. There we go. So there is my little rose friendship card for you today. And here is a little sprig of roses. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll take advantage of these wonderful opportunities that we have that are 
uh, going to end on the 31st of this month. So you just have a couple more days to sign up and get that starter kit with all the beautiful in color stamp sets and papers and so forth and so on. You can learn more on my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com. And if you want to learn more about the new Fancy Fold and Watercolor and Ink Painting class, which the registration is opened right now, that also closes on the 31st on the month. You will find that also on my website under Online Classes. And that, that is a special two-for-one class because not only do you have two instructors, myself and Lisa McGrew, but you also have two topics. We're going to be doing four fancy fold cards and also you're going to get a lesson in painting with watercolor and ink. So you don't want to miss that opportunity. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think that covers all the news for Today, I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope uh, you'll get outside into your gardens and find some flowers to paint from. If you do, please share them in the uh, Dandelion Paper Pals group. You can post your images there right here on my Facebook page. I'd love to see them. Stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.